That's gonna be a fun one to land. <laughs> oh, beauty. I'm not letting this He's one go. He's just on the back. <laughs> come here, come here. No, no, easy. Way to go, Theron. That's a good one right there, yes, boys. It is. Hey, folks, Larry Ladowski, Midwest Outdoors. I'm here on the Wisconsin River, and we're fishing with Theron Asbury, FLW Pro, as well as Yozuri Marketing Manager, and a buddy of mine, Casey Knopf, who knows this river like the back of his hand. Way to, way to start us off there, yeah, that's a great one. Larry, you see this little branch of the river right here? Yeah. We're going to head back in there. As long as there's current, the smallmouth still stays in there because there's a lot of food going through there. They narrow down, but as long as there's a few feet of water, you can catch fish in there. So this is where we have to precision our casts, right? Exactly. You got to get right next to the bank underneath the trees, and that's where they're staging, just waiting for food to come by. Get him. It's a nice little smallmouth in the 4-inch 3DB pencil. Yesterday we were throwing the 5-inch, the new 5-inch 3DB pencil. Today we're throwing the 4-inch, catching a little bit more fish with it. That's the bone color. Great all-around color around the country. Yeah, it does really well here on the Wisconsin River. Uh, you couldn't say no to it, so. Uh, We'll get a release on this guy and we'll keep going. Nice little smallmouth, absolutely. Having a lot of fun. There we go. Another one. Back to back, here we go. That a boy, Casey. Eating that bone color here. Just caught one and uh, I think we found a little school of them. Look at that. Another nice smallmouth, four inch, 3DB pencil. They just can't resist that walk the dog style. No, bait. absolutely not. Drives them nuts yeah. with these good uh, sharp hooks and uh, that's success right there. Paired up with the uh, Yozuri Super Braid. Absolutely great combo, obviously. Proof in the pudding, it works. There he is. Oh! Go ahead again. So that's three casts, three strikes. Three strikes, yeah, a nice little uh, pot of smallmouth in there. I think what's happening is we're up into a little creek arm here, and the current is breaking off that little point, and obviously those smallmouth are stacked up in there. Three this is a big here. fish here. What a nice one. 3db squ square bill that was forecast four fish <laughs> we beat him up a little bit on the 3db pencil the top water bait i threw in there fished a little deeper now we got a really nice fish on pull and drag there we go really nice fish you know that's why it's really important to work the entire water column you know you can hit them with top water and then come in and you can actually crush them on uh, a bait that'll dive one to two feet down Real That's nice smallmouth. That's a uh, nice Wisconsin River smallmouth right there. Nice and dark. They're not very fat because they're all muscle. They gotta fight this current all the time. There we go. Real That's nice small one. Yeah, nice thank you. There. Yeah. You guys don't catch a lot of smallmouth down in Florida, do you? No, we don't. We catch dark fish, but they ate these brown smallies. <laughs> I absolutely love it. That fish came out all, all the way out of the water. So Casey, are you, are, you, are you doing a special cast to get underneath those branches? Well, the thing is, on fish in the river, you have to cast sidearm, because these fish are right tight to the cover. So if you can't get your bait underneath the trees, you're just simply not gonna catch the fish. So uh, we'll see if we can get that fish we just missed. Yeah, get back in there, buddy. Are you practicing that cast and without the branches sometimes? I do, actually. It, uh, it pays off. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Same plate. There you go. That's a money shot. He <laughs> got him finally, yeah! <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah! <laughs> Good fish. Look at that. He followed it right up to the boat. That's how you know they want it. That's kind of key too with topwater bait is you'll notice that he kept setting the hook early on that fish and then he, this last time he waited to feel the fish before he set that hook. And sometimes that's what you got to do with topwater. Yeah, you just uh, got to keep reeling until they actually eat it and then once they eat it, then you can give them the old hook set. But uh, it took me a few times but I finally got them. So I've been sitting here watching these two clowns for the last 15 minutes work this little area underneath this There's brush fish. pile. Oh my gosh. They're catching fish. I'm just sitting here watching. This is the perfect box out position right here. <laughs> Way to go, Theron. Got him. Another nice little Wisconsin river fish. That's a smallmouth on the new 3DB 1.5 square bill. Got one on the Ozuri prop. That's a good one. Larry, you want to remind me again about how you're getting boxed out back there? 
Not giving you a fair advantage because that's a good fish. I finally got the cast. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how patience and perseverance pay off. Because Larry got him one. I got me one. A little brownie. That's a good one. Get him, nice. Keith. Nice small mouth. Nice one. You got that 3 dB pencil, this pen. Look at that. So as we land this fish, a couple of key points from today. When you're fishing a river channel, especially one with a lot of current, you want to fish as close and tight to cover as you can. Look at that. It's got that pencil inhaled. But you also want to pay attention to these little fingers that are right off the main lake area because there's a lot of current running through here. You want to fish it hard. I want to thank both Casey as well as uh, Theron for joining me today. Stick around because more Midwest is right around the corner. And if you want to check out these great baits, go to yo-zuri.com. I'm Larry Ladowski from Midwest Outdoors. I'll catch you later. <laughs>